How do we break the stereotype of judgmental Christians? <laughs> Ever met a judgmental Christian before? Um, I think my shortest answer to this question is we never entirely will. Because Christians are supposed to be like Christ and guess what Jesus Christ did all the time? He judged. Jesus had some really powerful things to say about his followers and their judgment. So in Matthew chapter 7, um, some people think this is the Bible passage that the world knows better than any other these days. Jesus said, verse 1, Matthew 7, Do not judge, or you too will be judged. To which the world says, you see, Christians are not supposed to judge people. We're not supposed to call people out for their lifestyles. We're not supposed to say someone's going to hell or someone's living in sin. Jesus himself said, quote, Do not judge. But you know this about the Bible? You, you can't just take one passage. You got to keep reading. Here's what he said next. For, here's his explanation, verse 2, for in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure that you used, it will be measured to you. So Jesus is saying, hey, just know before you judge someone, the standard you use, the Bible, that's the same standard that's going to judge you. Right? So if you're saying to someone, well, you're breaking this commandment, you, you need to repent, but you're breaking another commandment in the same book and you're not repenting, that's an issue with Jesus. And he says, don't judge in that case. And here's the proof of that interpretation, verse 3. He says, why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? It's pretty funny when you think about it, right? <laughs> like a two-by-four stuck in your face. Like, oh, I think there's a little, little speck of something over there. He says, no, how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite. Here's the big idea. First, take the plank out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. You catch that? Like, should we care about the sins of other people, the specks of sin in their lives? Yes. Should we eventually try to remove that speck, address that speck, talk to our friends, our, our fellow Christians, our neighbors, our children about their sin? Yes, Jesus says, you should, but not first. First, he says, take the plank out of your own eye. So first look in the mirror, repent of your sins, take your behavior seriously, don't, don't pick and choose and judge them for sin A when you're living in sin B. But, assuming you're coming humbly to Jesus, saying, I repent of my sins, change me, I'm struggling, but I want to follow your ways, then you are perfectly equipped, prepared, and biblically ready to remove the speck from your brother's eye. You know, we live in a culture where just people hate being judged. And we're just looking for any excuse to avoid changing our own behavior. So we love to misquote Jesus and say, you're being a judgmental Christian. Um, sometimes, yeah. Just like Jesus. <laughs> so, want to break the stereotypes? Be the most humble, repentant person that your friends know and then in love say, I love you. Can we talk about this? And you'll be just like Jesus. Did you enjoy this video? Uh, if so, we would love to share even more Jesus with you even if you have a busy, on-the-go kind of life. Uh, just click here and you can find the audio version for this podcast along with all the other podcasts that Time of Grace offers.